What's up guys, back with another video. I'm super excited about this one because in this video, I'm gonna be running you through part two of my full Marvel collection. If you missed part one, don't worry, you can watch it, I'll put the link in the description so that you can get fully up to date. We're gonna pick up where we left off and I'm gonna show you the new additions to the Marvel collection. I'm gassed. First up, check this out. An arc reactor. It lights up and it's got different settings and it's touch sensitive. Now it's not plugged in at the moment, but before the end of this video, I'm gonna plug this bad boy in and show you exactly how amazing it looks when it's lit up. Next up, the Avengers Infinity War Captain America shield. Now this is special. This is what it looks like on this side. Move that out of the way. So you can see that your arm goes in there and then you hold it like this. You've got that on like that. But wait for it. There's a little ring here at the end. And if I put my finger in that ring, when I pull that back, check this out. Oy! The whole shield opens out and extends. It is a madness. What an addition to the collection, love it. And that's not it there. There's one more thing that comes with this. Have a look at this. Where is it? It's behind here, there we go. This is a little stand for it. So you literally put the shield on like that and then it stands up. Perfect for displays. Next up, the Stormbreaker. I have wanted one of these for ages and finally got round to ordering one and it's arrived. I've not even taken it out of the box yet. So, let's do an unboxing. Cut this tape away. Come on, man like Thor. I'm gonna do more content based around Thor. I haven't even got to Thor yet. I've done quite a lot of Iron Man, which you guys have seen. I've done Spider-Man stuff. I haven't done much Thor stuff. It's coming, don't worry. What's this? 18 plus. Ah, I didn't realize that. It's an 18 plus. It's it was a toy, I thought it wouldn't be, wouldn't have a rating, but you know what, that's just a testament to what a beast of an addition this must be. Alright, so here we go. Oh. <laughs> hey. Right, have a look at this. So, this is how it comes in the box. Let's take it out. Aha, so that's the head. Haha, -ha. that's the handle. Well, that must go in there. Yes! Hey! That's slotted on nicely, can you see that? Look at that, that's slotted on nicely. And that is the Stormbreaker. This thing is huge! Look at that! Wait, hold up a second. On the box it says it's got lights and sounds. What? Let me see about this. Wait, 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 where's that instruction manual? So this is the instruction manual and it says that there's batteries that go in it somewhere in here. So this must slide apart. This comes off and opens out and then you can see there, that's where the batteries go. Oh no, I haven't got any batteries. Psych. Oh no, but I haven't got any screwdrivers in the house. Psych. It comes with these two screws as well which go in these holes so that it's secure and fastened. Okay, right, let's see this. Oi! No! Press it again. Ooh! Jeez! Wow! That is cool. Yes! <laughs> this thing's quite heavy. My shoulder's getting a workout just holding it up. Right, so that is the Stormbreaker. Okay, so by the looks of things, when you wave it back and forward, it looks like the light and the sound comes on. And also when you press the button. Okay, so it is movement. Next up, we've got Loki's Scepter. Again, I've not even taken this out of the box yet. This is the first time I'm gonna see it in its full glory. Way. Look at this. This looks class. Now it comes with these screws, which I'm not sure what they're for. Let me try and work this out. So this comes with this bowl, which actually turns on. If you press that, this should come on, but 
it's got a little mini battery in here. So you can see there that that battery is tiny. So I've ordered one on Amazon and that should come tomorrow or the next day. There's something else. Look at the underside. Look at this, there's something in here. I'm excited to show you this. Okay, you ready for this? Take this off. In here, we have a stand that is built for the scepter and it lights up. You see here, these are lights which light up and give it this underglow which looks incredible in the pictures. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how it looks in real life. So I'm gonna to have to screw these in. That's what these screws are for. Okay, so this is it, the stand is put together. This little bit here can clip open and shut. Right, let's do it, moment of truth. Let's put the scepter on the stand and turn the lights on and see how it looks. Let's go. Sick that looks, man. Next up, this marble sign, which has this switch on the side, which if we press, it lights up. How good is that? It's got a plug as well, which you can plug in to a power socket, or you can just use batteries in the back, like I've done. If you press this again, it flickers on and off, like that. So it's up to you what you want, or you can have it completely off. Next up, we've got this. Now, can you guess what this is? There's a big clue there. <laughs> right, let's take this out and reveal it. So, take this here. It's quite hard to do with one hand, but I'll do my best. And put that there. Hey, look at that. The infinity gauntlet. This is how it works. So you've got the infinity stones in here. Open it up and you put a battery inside and it lights up and it's got a magnet on the back. The batteries are here with the lights and if you click them, then the lights come on. So how it works is you've got the back part and then that attaches to the magnet. We turn it on so the light's on now. And then we put this in here. On like that. And there we have it, we've got the Mind Stone lit up. Now because it's magnetic, you literally just put it where it should go and let go and it just clips in. How cool is that? And it works exactly the same for all of the slots. And then it comes with the stand as well. This is the stand, which I'm guessing you just screw, screw there. So this must go on like that. So the stand goes like that. And in here, we've got an Avengers Infinity War sticker. Sick. So I'm gonna level with you. Some of these batteries have gone flat. So I've ordered new ones. I'll put the other Infinity Stones in for now, but they won't all have lights because some of these batteries don't work. So that's the Infinity Gauntlet, absolutely love it. It's fully wearable as well. It's huge though, when you put it on, it's like, you feel like this is made for Thanos, not for me. And I'm gonna show you this in its full glory in the next part, where I'm gonna put everything that you see in this video into one epic wall display that's actually gonna go right over there. But for this video, we're just revealing all the new additions to the Marvel collection, but in the next part, that's when we create the full display and it's gonna be an absolute madness. Mark my words on that. Got a new Spider-Man suit which should go with this mask. So look out for that in future content. So, moment of truth, let's do this. So how this operates is it's touch sensitive. So all you have to do is gently tap the top of the glass and it should come on. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one. Hey. And that's not it, there's more. It's got two settings. So if I tap the glass again, it will go on to setting number two where the arc reactor pulses. Check this out. 
pulsing like an orangey glow and then back to the blue. Oh my gosh. Madness. This is my favorite setting. So if I tap it again, it will go off. And then if I tap it again, it goes on to just a solid blue color. And then this is my favorite, the pulsing. So guys, that is it. That is part two of my full Marvel collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know I certainly enjoyed doing the unboxings and you, you guys can see how excited I get about this stuff. I need to do a garage update really soon. You can see the garage is, is getting there. It's looking really good in parts. Like this, this side of the room is pretty much done, but this part of the room still needs a lot of work. That corner still needs a lot of work. And this part of the room, this is not how it's gonna stay. So I just put these plimps here for the Star Wars video that I did the other day. But they're not gonna stay there. So I'm gonna move these. I know that looks pretty cool there, but you guys have just witnessed what we've got to work with now with the Marvel Collection Editions. So I'll give you a sneak exclusive. Part of my vision for the next garage update is to create a Marvel display on this wall. So it'll be like a continuation of the helmet collection with the Marvel theme onto the wall. So yeah, I mean, I'll give another thing away. This arc reactor, it has to go beneath this central. Oh, it just, it just does, it just does, it just goes looks so good but my plan is to not have it on a plinth i'm going to have it as some sort of a wall display so that it doesn't take up as much space in the garage and also plinths block a lot of the wall so three plinths are blocking the bottom half of that wall i don't want that i want this wall on display so that all of these bits can be on display in their full glory so right that's enough i'm not i'm going to stop talking now because i'm giving things away that i shouldn't be guys thank you so much for your love and support i really appreciate all of you guys the channel is growing so fast and it's all thanks to you guys for liking sharing commenting engaging with my posts and just watching them that really helps so guys as always thank you so much if you haven't already make sure you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a video because there's some absolute bangers coming trust me but that's it for this one as always i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one